Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on finding fractions of numbers. So this is quite a popular question in an exam. So what we need to be able to do today is we need to be able to do something like find three-fifths of 40. Well, what we do is we take our number 40 and we divide it by the bottom of the fraction. So we divide it by 5. That will give us 8. And then we take our 8 and we multiply it by the top of the fraction. So the top of the fraction is 3, so 8 times 3 is 24, which is our answer. So to find 3 fifths of 40, we just divide by the bottom number, and then we times by the top number. So now we've learned that, we'll be able to do some of the harder exam questions. So here's our first question on the left. 500 people go to the X Factor final. Three-fifths support Jedward. One-third of the Jedward fans are girls. How many girls support Jedward? So, this is a two-step question. The first thing we need to do is we need to do this first bit, find three-fifths of all the people, because three-fifths support Jedward. So we need to find three-fifths of 500, because 500 people go all together. So as we just learnt, to find three-fifths, we're going to divide by the bottom number. So we take our 500 and divide by 5, because 5 is at the bottom of the fraction. That gives us 100. And then we take our 100 and we times it by the top number, times it by 3. That will give us 300. So there are 300 Jedward fans. Okay, so the next step of the question says... One third of Jedward's fans are girls. How many girls support Jedward? So there's 300 Jedward fans, and we need to work out what one third of that is. So we're trying to find one third of 300. So same method, take our 300, and we divide it by the bottom of the fraction, which is 3. That will give us 100. And then we take this 100, and we times it by the top of the fraction, which is 1. So 100 times 1 is just 100. So 100 of Jedward supporters are girls. So that's the answer to that question. It's a two-step. We must carefully read it to make sure we answer it correctly. The second question is slightly harder because there's a little twist at the end. So let's have a go at it. 60 pupils are in year 8. Three-fifths of pupils' favourite subject is maths. Two-ninths of people liking maths are boys. How many girls' favourite subject is maths? So, again, we take it step by step. First step, three-fifths of people's favourite subject is maths. So we want to work out what three-fifths of all the people are. So three-fifths of 60. So to do that, we take our 60... Divide by the bottom number, which is 5. That will give us 12. We then take our 12 and we multiply it by the top number, which is 3. That gives us 36. So 36 people's favourite subject is maths. Right, now we read the second part of the question. It says two-ninths of people liking maths are boys. So we want to work out what two-ninths of people liking maths are. What is 36 people liking maths? So we want to work out two-ninths of 36. So again, we take our 36 and we divide it by the bottom number, which is 9. 36 divided by 9 is 4. And we take that 4 and we multiply it by the top number, which is 2, which gives us 8. What that means is that eight people who like maths are boys. And then we read the question, and it says, how many girls' favourite subject is maths? Well, there's 36 people who like maths. Eight of them are girls. So we'll take away those eight girls. That leaves us with 28 people whose favourite subject is maths and who are girls. So we just need to be careful there that we read the question and we make sure we work out the extra step at the end, finding the girl's favourite subject. 
Right, here is a couple of questions for you to have a go at. Good luck, and if you need help, take them to your teacher.